What's up guys? Today I'm checking out Namco Museum on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm going to tell you right, right away, this game won't be for everyone. Currently the price on it is $29.99. I believe it's only digital, although there is this weird thing going around where people think it might be physical as well. I haven't seen anything concrete about that. I don't know if they're planning to release a physical copy. All I can tell you right now is it is currently on the eShop, $29.99, and it includes uh, games basically from uh, from back in the day, essentially. Uh, a couple of them on here. The one that I saw that really stuck out to me was Splatterhouse and Pac-Man Versus. Now, if you don't know, Pac-Man Versus was available on the GameCube back in the day, and you would use essentially a tethered Game Boy Advance so that there were two different screens. One screen had the ghosts, where multiple people would play as the ghosts, and then one person would play as Pac-Man, the obvious objective to stop Pac-Man from eating all of the dots. But there's a couple other things going on here other than just a compilation. They've actually worked to add different options and everything, and really I'm gonna try to show you guys some of that, and then that way you can decide if this game is for you or not. So let's jump into, let's just, let's jump into, um, let's see, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll do Splatterhouse uh, just because it's actually a pretty fun game. They have two different modes. They have normal mode and they have challenge mode. The idea here is the challenge mode will give you ob like objectives to try to complete while you're playing. So it makes it a little harder. So if you're an expert at the games, it'll try to do things. I'm just going to reset it. And what's cool is that you have a button there for coins. So you hit L and it adds a coin, which is kind of cool. So you, you hit L to put quarters, and I wish it was that easy back in the day. Uh, and then you see R down there as options. This is where things get kind of interesting because you hit R and you have a full set of, of really just a ton of options. You can rot the, rotate the screen 90 degrees, for example, which doesn't make sense in my setting because I'm playing on the TV. Um, so if I hit that, it's gonna do this weird thing where, where my screen is rotated right now. And if I hit it again, it'll actually go upside down. Uh, but the idea here is for something like Galaga, where it was set up with that um, that kind of that portrait mode in mind with the arcade. So if you have the Switch, for example, in handheld mode, you can actually turn it that direction and use it that way. Or if you have a monitor, you know those monitors that can actually go portrait mode, you can do that. You can put it in portrait mode and actually play it like it would be in the arcades. Kind of cool. Uh, and then they have a couple other things, including game settings. So you can go through, you can turn HD Rumble off, you can change the difficulty. Uh, they have a tracked mode, which plays sounds while waiting for credits to be inserted. It's kind of funny. Um, but then you also have at the top, you have controls you can check out. So it'll tell you all the controls. And then you can also go to how to play. It will try to pull and basically it'll tell you how to essentially play the game. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with a certain game, it's almost like a digital manual kind of. So this, for example, is Splatterhouse and it tries to tell you, it tries to give you a little bit of backstory and then it tries to tell you about the game itself and how to play it. What I'm gonna do is go through a couple of the games, including Pac-Man Versus, just so you can get an idea of how it plays and how it looks. So I'm gonna go back here and we'll actually jump into Splatterhouse. And uh, it looks it looks good. They definitely did some upscaling, but you can also do things like add scan lines, which is cool. So this is pretty straightforward. There's It's a two button game. You have punch and you have jump. So I'm just kind of running through and cutting monsters in half with a cleaver right now. <laughs> Um, it's Splatterhouse. It's, I mean, it, if you think about the name Splatter, it's kind of right there for you in the title. And uh, so I'm just going to keep running through here. And I will switch over to some other games. There's a lot of games to go through, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on each game. Uh, I'm just going to kind of go through them as quick as I can. Spikes and jump and hit him. And so Splatterhouse is pretty straightforward, as you can see. It's a... Uh, it's, uh, Side, it's a side scrolling kind of like almost like a beat em up, I guess, except you're killing everything in one shot. <laughs> so let me go back to the menu, which you can uh, you can get out by pressing R and then you can go to uh, select another game, which or just go to main menu. That'll work, too. So go back to the main menu. I really want you guys to see Pac-Man versus because that's interesting. But real quick, let me just jump through the game so you know what are, what's on here. There's, of course, Splatterhouse, Tank Force, Rolling Thunder 2, Pac-Man versus regular Pac-Man. So if you like Pac-Man, Pac-Man is there. Galaga, Dig Dug, Dr the Tower Draga, which is, uh, some people like it, some people don't. Um, Sky Kid, kind of the same. Rolling Thunder 1, which is a good game, so is Rolling Thunder 2. Uh, Galaga 88, and then of course back to Splatterhouse. So there's not like a ton of games. I think there's like 11 games on here or something. What's interesting in those, if we get the Pac-Man Versus, for example, they want you to use two switches. 
okay? In fact, if I go in here, it'll try to explain it to you. What I noticed though, is if you go on the eShop, they have Pac-Man Versus as a free download. I think the reason they have that as a free download is so you don't technically have to buy the game twice. So if they're, you have a friend and all they wanna do is play Pac-Man Versus with you, I believe you have a free download there and then you have this game and that'll let them kind of kind of link up that way. So in this case, I'm gonna play with one, uh, one, one switch. So yeah, there's two here. Need another switch, obviously. One person would be Pac-Man from a field of view kind of thing. So you'd see everything. But then the other one is almost like a third person where you're the ghost. So I'm gonna jump over to single console and I will play as one of the ghosts. Uh, it's a longer game, to be honest. So I'm not gonna play completely through it. I'll just give you guys an idea of how it plays. So I am, I'm red, okay, I'm, I'm the red ghost. And you'll see right away, it, it looks very similar to the GameCube version. So I'm the red ghost at the top left, uh, and like I said, we're supposed to be working together, but there is a sense of, you also want to be care, you want, you want to be the one to essentially get Pac-Man, you want to be the one to touch him. So he'd grab the, the big, oh, 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 okay, there we go. And I just kind of follow him around. I want to try to cut him off, the, oh, there's, nope, 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 I was going to say, there's the, uh, I know he's going to be able to, uh, to eat me, because I knew he had that, the power pellet thing there. And they also take advantage of the HD rumble in a few cases. In that case, once he grabbed that big pellet, oh, he grabbed it again. It, it does use the HD rumble to tell you that happened, other than the obvious it happened because I'm a blue ghost now. Um, so I'll run through here. And I can kind of look at their screen to help me find him. There he is, there he is. Oh, come on. Hey, I got him, nice. Okay, so I, I managed to, capture, to, to get Pac-Man, and I also picked up the cherry, so I ended up with... 2,000 points, which gives me a pretty good lead. Now, if you get eaten by Pac-Man, you lose points. And the idea here is it's supposed to be a four-player game, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Obviously, the person playing as Pac-Man is trying to complete the map. So I'll play another round, and then I'll jump over to something else, maybe Rolling Thunder, so you guys can see how that looks, or Galaga. Galaga's fun. I'll try to get through a couple of them for you guys in the in the time I have. Um, oh, here we go. See if we can get them. Like I said, I can kind of look at the map too. If you look on the bottom right, there's a map. Oh, God, I'm nice. 30, uh, 3,600, I would actually be doing good here. This is like, I'd actually be winning almost. Like I'm getting close to that uh, halfway to 7,000. I am, okay, yeah, I'm halfway to 7,000, nice. Um, and then you'd basically play all the 7,000, first one there wins, or if, uh, if Pac-Man clears the board. So I'm gonna go back, and we'll go back to the title screen, oh, main menu. Go back to main menu, and we'll try out another game so you can see how it looks. Uh, let's see. Well, there's Galaga, so we can check out Galaga and see what you guys think of that. This is the time, you see how there's that portrait mode? This is perfect for that 90 degree angle if you're playing, like I said, on a monitor that can go uh, portrait mode, or if you're going to put some coins in, or if you're playing on the tablet, if you, uh, you kind of move it around a little bit. I guess you could try to stand it up in uh, portrait mode. <laughs> Set it against something, maybe? Uh, I think it was X was auto fire. Yeah, okay, X is auto fire. A is just regular. You have to tap A. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's Galaga. It looks good. Uh, I think 88 looks a little better in terms of visuals. <laughs> um, but I mean, if you're, if you're a fan of the old school games, this is a fun little compilation. If you like Pac-Man, Galaga, Dig Dug, it's, it's really up to you if it's worth $30. That's, that's kind of what it comes down to. Some people, the, the games are worth that much to them. Others, not so much. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of up to you in that case. All right, so we got Galaga here, and I'll just clear these guys out real quick. Then we'll move on to stage two. Okay, yep, so again, it's pretty straightforward. It looks good, it sounds good, it's fine overall. Um, and it, it looks good through like, uh, obviously on the HD visuals and everything. Let's go back to, see we have change game here. That's all I was looking for before. And uh, this is nice because it brings up a very quick menu so you can jump around pretty easily. Uh, let's see, let's check out Rolling Thunder 2. Let's jump into there. And I guess I'll, um, maybe I'll, maybe I'll finish with Pac-Man, just regular Pac-Man, because that's like one of the things a lot of people are going to be buying this for is probably Pac-Man. Uh, back when, back when we used to work in, uh, like I said, the game store, the most requested title was always Pac-Man. That's what everyone just wanted to play Pac-Man. <laughs> Does it play Pac-Man? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll buy it. <laughs> that was seriously a conversation sometimes. It's kind of crazy to think about now, but that, that would sell systems. Like, if we had a Genesis, and we had, like, a uh, Miss Pac-Man for it, they would buy the Genesis and Pac-Man. So, if you like kind of the older style games, yeah, there you go. Alright. 
I have limited ammo, though. I know that. Oh! Got him. Uh, let's see. Yep, got him again. So this is uh, Rolling Thunder 2. I think this one's a little better than the second one, if I remember correctly. Oh, man. I'm. Oh, no. What is happening? Oh, no. I'm stuck. <laughs> what is happening? Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Everything's all right. Can I jump over that? Yeah, okay, I can jump over that. We're good. We're good. Oh, no, 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 jump! <laughs> oh, man, old school games. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, punched me. There we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Got him, nice. Uh, so yeah, this is Rolling Thunder 2. Again, you can see how it's, um, it looks good. It, I mean, it's an older game. What can you do, I guess, in some cases? Uh, so let's go back to, we'll finish up with Pac-Man. Um, and just see how that looks. Again, I'm, I'm sure it'll look fine. So, again, another case where you can use that portrait mode. It'll give you that, kind of that look as like a, like an arcade. Yep, there you go. It's, it's, it's straight up Pac-Man. It's, it's hard to get Pac-Man wrong nowadays only because it's been done so many times. I like the inclusion of Pac-Man Versus because, again, the Switch is is a system that is working really hard to make sure co-op is good, right? Like, that's the one thing I, I gotta give Nintendo with the Switch. Man, everything is trying to do co-op or multiplayer locally. And this is this is no exception. This is a game where it's trying to do that exact same thing. And, uh, man, it's, it's really cool to see that. Like, Pac-Man Versus was so cool, but nobody played it because it was, uh, it, you, need, you needed the GameCube, you needed the uh, Game Boy Advance cable, an extra Game Boy Advance to play it on. There was a lot of stuff you needed to make it work, it is the thing. It didn't, like, just magically happen. So, I don't know. I, I, I like the idea, and I'm glad they brought it back in this case because it, it was a game that I, I just don't think anyone played. Oh, I missed that one dot. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, they're coming for me now. Oh! Oh, they're gonna work together and get me. Oh, oh yeah, nice. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened there. They should have got me. So, yeah, there you go. That's uh, Pac-Man. That's Pac-Man. There's not much to say about this. Really, this is just a, a collection for people who like the older games. And if you enjoy these games, if you think it's worth $30, which is subjective. Some people may say, no, it's not worth $30. Some may say it is. There you go. Uh, it's on the eShop now. It's, uh, like I said, $29.99. Um, Namco Museum on the Switch. You, you only need to buy it once from what I can tell if you want to do Pac-Man Versus with someone else. They just need to download the, the Pac-Man Versus game, and then the other person has the game, and it links up. So, cool idea there. I like the inclusion of using two Switches for something like that, because back in the day, like I said, we needed Game Boy Advance, so very cool. That is Namco Museum, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.